This is a raw egg, raw cream, raw milk ice cream that you can throw together super fast and then eat it, which is what you want to do with ice cream. Hello, my name is my name is Jennifer. I like homemade ice cream to be fast in the summertime. It's just another food group. It is not some gourmet dessert. It's just what we eat when we want to have ice cream. That doesn't really sell it, does it? I don't need to really sell this. This is just an efficient ice cream. The problem with this ice cream is that it doesn't hold up so well in the fridge. Freezer, freezer. It tends to get a little bit crumbly. So I have been working on it, trying to keep it as simple as possible. What I'm doing differently now is that I I blend the hell out of it, basically. I just blend the milk, the egg, and the sugar. Blend it to death. And so it's super, super creamy. And then I just add in the cream and throw it in the ice cream mixer. And that has made a huge difference. The ice cream is now much creamier and it freezes well. It actually holds up really well in the freezer. So this step of blending it up first before you put it in the ice cream maker makes a big difference. So the recipe, you do not even need to write it down. It is super easy. It is one egg. One half cup sugar, one half cup milk. Now this is the part that you're gonna to blend to death. I'm actually gonna just go ahead and add the vanilla. I don't measure it, it's about a half teaspoon, teaspoon, whatever. Just enough to give it some flavor. And here we go. I'm gonna run down cellar and get the ice cream maker. Yes, yeah, so that was probably a minute and it's just creamy. The sugar's dissolved. I'm gonna do a little bit longer because it gets it smoother and creamier. It's just not anything fancy. And then this is some cream that I've skimmed. Do two cups. Oh heck, there's more. I'm just gonna do it all. I am going to add a pinch of salt. I don't think the recipe calls for that, but a little salt helps everything. Just pulse it briefly. And that's good. I keep my ice cream canister in the freezer ready to go at all times. Just wipe it down. So you put this on top of this. You put this little knobby down in and it holds there. Stick this on top, slide it into place, turn it on. So it starts going before you add the ice cream. So there you go, you get the, all the cream in and it's just gonna mix for a little bit. One thing I have recently learned to do is that as this is cycling through, it sticks on the sides of the canister and in the center it's fluffier, so you want to scrape down the edges. So when I'm tasting, I often stick my spoon in sideways and run it along the side like that, and that way I get the harder ice cream to taste. Let me taste it. Mm-hmm, very yummy. Let me get a new spoon. And so if you just push along the side as you're going, it scoops in the ice cream that's freezing faster. I just kind of work the spoon down in as I go. And that helps you to get a more even freeze on your ice cream. So I will do this multiple times throughout the freeze. And this freeze only takes, I don't know, 15 minutes? I don't really ever time it, I just kind of watch it. And here we are again, stirring, stiffening up a little bit more. See that? Woo! Should always start out with a bouquet of spoons because you're just gonna keep tasting and tasting and tasting. You can see how it's changing a little bit on the top. See how it's getting a little bit more ridged and defined? That is a sign that we're getting closer. See, it's getting ice creamy, like soft serve a little bit. Really good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You can see how it's puffed up. It's rising up above. So I'm going to give this another little stir. I didn't used to baby this at all. This is new, but I've discovered that it makes better ice cream if I baby it just a little bit. I mean, really, is it such a hardship to baby ice cream? Okay. Woo, see, and there you go. There's your ice cream. It is made. Just shut it off. And now you gotta work quickly because 
homemade vanilla ice cream, especially that has not been stabilized with any cooked custards, will melt quickly. So you want to bring it over to the table. You pull this out. There's all your ice cream. Wah! Scrape it off. If you have a child close by, you give this to them. If you have no children close by, you eat it yourself. I have read about adding gelatin to this to help it firm up and not melt as quickly, which I'm a little leery of, but I shouldn't say that because I haven't tried it, but I'm just thinking it might change the texture some. You can see how it's firmer and it's like a yellowishness, like a darker color that's close to the ice. I don't know if you can see that right there, like right there, that part. So this I'm going to stir in. This is something else I've just figured out that if you stir this in, all together, it just makes this set up and freeze more uniformly. So I kind of like stir it in. And it's, you see how it's already melting a little bit. It's fine, it's totally fine. Just get it in the freezer quick or serve it directly. See how quickly it melted? So that's why you just have to freeze it. For this right here, you have to wash this out right away. Dry it out so there's no, so because it's still frozen on the inside. So you want to work quick, curl. Real fast, clean towel, so it doesn't freeze and get icy on the inside. And then you pop it back in its bag and stick it down in the freezer and it, it needs to sit level in the freezer or else it will freeze crooked on the inside and then it will blue, 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 blue as it freezes. Keep it in a Ziploc bag like that and run it down to the freezer. Mm -hmm.